Hello gorgeous, it is Jen and I am super excited to be here today. I have some new makeup to play with. I have an alternative to a Natasha Denona palette. I have the new cream bronzer from Makeup Revolution that I finally broke down and bought. I have a new primer to try. I have a new TikTok favorite cream blush. If that sounds interesting, let's get into it. I am going to start by telling you what's already on my face. I did my brows with my Wet n Wild brow pencil and I primed my eyelids with my Ulta Matte Eyeshadow Primer. I'm gonna go in with face primer first and I picked up this new one from Wet n Wild. It is their Glass Skin Brightening Primer. Skin looks naturally corrected and reflected as a crystal. The yellow color correcting filter brightens and corrects dullness for a glowing complexion includes vitamin c with radiance boosting properties wear alone or to prep skin for lasting makeup the word glass makes me a little bit nervous but i like the idea of brightening so there's what it looks like let's put it on i'm going to focus on the center of the face it has no scent it's definitely glowy, but we'll see if it gives a radiance to the skin when it is all done. I want that to set and sink into the skin while I work on my eye look. This is the Harmony palette from Alter Ego. I own two Alter Ego palettes already. I own the Canyon and the Goddess, and they are inspired by other Natasha Denona palettes. When the Natasha Denona retro palette came out, I was very drawn to it, but $65, $67 for a palette is a lot, and it has to be a color story that I'm completely sold on. I am still new to the mauves and pinks family. I'm still, I still have conflicting opinions, but so I did pick this up because $18 is a lot easier of a pill to swallow. Am I right or am I right? I did also pick up a brush set from Alter Ego. I've heard some fabulous things about it. Again, very inexpensive, and I got all of these brushes. So we are going to work on the face today using these brushes. Here are the eye brushes, and I like to go in with a smaller brush. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. And this is the number looks like the number four. It's a little bit pinched, a little bit fluffy. I see some pretty bright pink, some darker mauve, some more purple tones. I love that white. We're gonna get some depth and some light out of this palette. I am excited. Let's get into it. Just pulled my hair back so it'll be out of my way. I'm gonna start right here with this shade called Tender. And I'm just gonna take this in the crease area. I'm being very light-handed. I haven't used my Alter Ego palettes in a while. And obviously I do not have the Retro palette, or I'd be doing one eye, one eye. But I feel comfortable using only this palette and then giving you my thoughts, because I know that mauves are very, very trending right now. They're very soft and beautiful and romantic. So I wanted to give you my thoughts in the event you were thinking about this. I have very high hopes because I've had great experience with Alter Ego palettes in the past. This is the number 10 and it's got a little bit of an angle to it. And I'm going in with Grace, right in the middle here. I'm gonna go into Grace and I'm gonna put this in my outer corner. I don't usually use angled brushes like this, but this is working out really nice. It's blending very nicely into that outer corner. Going back into that seven brush, the original brush, nothing on it just sort of blending out the edges. We've got a very soft gradient going here from 
lighter to darker. On the lid, this charity shade looks beautiful. Let me check this one out. Looks more like a topper. Maybe I'll try Chime. Let's see what Chime looks like. That's a pretty taupey pink. Let's go in with Chime. And then maybe we'll top it with Charity. Pretty. I'm gonna go in with Charity on top and see what I can get out of that. Adds a bit of sparkle. I like that. I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush here and this one is the number 11. And I'm going into Scents right here, which looks like it's a little more purple than the Grace shade. Pretty nice, and they are applying nicely to the eye. I am gonna come back to that and add in a white inner corner. Can add some black in my upper waterline. This is my Essence Extreme Lasting in Black. Love this, the price is so inexpensive. Inky, easy to apply, just glides on the waterline, which is so important. Haven't pulled this one out in a minute. My Lash Princess Waterproof Liquid Liner. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of a wing. Gonna curl my lashes and add one of my very favorite mascaras, the Essence Lash Princess. And we'll get back and work on the face. Nine out of 10 for this mascara. I absolutely love it. The only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because it sometimes will run under my eyes. And thank goodness I've discovered tubing mascaras that help with that. Moving on, I have a newly formulated foundation from Catrice to play with today. This is their HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I had this a long time ago, the original formula. I liked it a lot. I used it up. I'm not sure why I never repurchased it, but then I got on the bandwagon of the Catrice True Skin, which went viral. Everybody loved it. I bought it. I liked it. It was just a little too moisturizing for me. I think my oily skin would prefer more of a matte foundation. And this is Catrice's matte foundation. It says here that it's mattifying, water and sweat proof, has niacinamide, and best of all, it's inexpensive. So I'm super excited to be playing with this again today. Look who I brought in to play with us, my little Game of Thrones sponge. <laughs> Makes me happy. I keep it in my bedroom, but I brought it in just to play today. So I'm going to make sure that my hand is clean because I have swatches on it. I don't know where my palette is. I have a palette for foundations. I lose it. So I'm going to put a little bit of this foundation on my hand. It's quite runny. And I'm going to use my sponge today. And right off the bat, I see some great coverage. I used a teensy bit more foundation today than I normally would, because I do believe that a sponge shears out your foundation a bit. And I enjoy the finish that the sponge gives me, but it's kind of a trade-off. If you're gonna use that sponge, you're gonna lose a bit of your foundation. You're gonna end up using a bit more. So I go back and forth. I like my hands. I like a sponge. I go back and forth to a brush. It's all good. We're just having fun. Looks good. I like the coverage. I like the finish. It is a little glowy, but I think that is that Wet n Wild primer. So obviously I'm gonna keep playing with this. Almost dropped it. With different primers. I'm loving that Cali Ray still. So we'll do that. Next, I'm gonna go in with concealer. I grabbed my Wet n Wild Incognito. I did pick up a new shade of this. my trick with the concealer to make it a little fuller coverage, which is my preference, is to put it on and then where I need the coverage most, let it sit about a minute. So I feel comfortable blending out these areas, but I'm gonna leave it alone right here for a minute. So I'm gonna look crazy for about a minute. Trust the process. 
I picked up the new Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzers, had to try them, couldn't decide on the shade, it's so hard online, but I picked up Dark and Light. They both seemed cool toned. I'm going to swatch them for you. This is the Dark, and this is the Light. I think I'm gonna go in with the Dark. I, of course, will play with both. I'm gonna try to use it different ways, maybe in my eyes, see if it creases, all the different ways, because I like to play with makeup. I'm gonna go light-handed with this dark. This is my BH brush, and I'm just gonna, woo, tap in lightly and start blending. And I'm really just tapping on my face with this dense flat brush. And I forgot to use one of the new brushes already. What brush would I have used? I don't know, these all seem pretty soft. I'm more of a dense brush. I will try to use the face brushes, I promise. How about one of these bigger blending brushes for the concealer? Because I want as much coverage as I can. This is the number five. I'm just tapping, basically to have that sink into the skin and cover up those dark circles and bring light to the deep setness of my eyes. And I'm satisfied with that. That looks good. Let's go in with a little bit of highlighter. I grabbed my Flower Beauty. This has a pink undertone to it. It is in the shade Gleam. It does seem to come out quite a bit. So I like to put it on the back of my hand and just tap. That way I can control it a little bit more. And for blush, I have seen this on TikTok. I have seen this being reviewed around YouTube. This is the Half Caked Velvet Tiger Cream Blush. I've seen different shades. This is just the one that I was drawn to. It is a nice mauve brown, which is right up my alley. I like that watching it it looks a little dewy which makes me a little nervous these alter ego brushes just seem a little too soft for a cream product so I'm gonna use my putty bronzer brush from elf and just see what we're working with here looks quite pigmented I've heard that they have extremely good lasting power I'm hoping that is accurate because it sounds good to me I'm just going right along the edge because we don't want a harsh line. I need a little powder, so I grabbed my Wet n Wild Clarifying Powder. Lots of Wet n Wild today, huh? I'm just a big fan. I like this powder, haven't used it on camera for a while. This is their shade Fair Light, super inexpensive. Here's the number two brush. I'm just gonna swirl it in and just tap it on. I normally like my puff. But we can try something different. The brush feels super soft, not scratchy on my skin at all. All right, I'm gonna throw on some of my Morphe Makeup Talk lip liner, and then we're gonna add this on the lips. Here we go. I'm gonna run my finger in there. Feels very smooth. actually feels very nice on my lips. I'm gonna finish off the eyes going back into that Harmony palette and I'm gonna take a small brush from this Alter Ego set. Here, this is the number eight and I wanna go into this true shade. It looks like it's white. I'm gonna put some on both sides of the brush. Maybe I'll wet it to give it a little more oomph. Better. Finish off the lower lash line with my Ulta Lash Flash Tubing Mascara. This is your insurance in the event you have mascara that likes to run under your eyes. I do want to add a little bit of powder contour, so I grabbed my Sephora Collection Contour, and it's an opportunity to use another one of these brushes. I'll use this angled one. This is the number three. 
on and it'll set that cream bronzer as well. Got a little bit on the nose. To set the face, I'm gonna throw a little bit of this Milani Make It Last. I haven't owned it in a long time. Got to set the brows. I brought in my e.l.f. brow lift that I love. I like to do all my powders and all my steps and then set those brows last. Make sure they are angled the way that I want them to be and that they will last. I am not sure how I feel about this palette. I feel like the mattes performed just fine. It's the shimmers that let me down a little bit. I need to play more with all the shimmers, but I really did feel like they were a little lacking for what I prefer in shimmers. If you are looking for nice matte, more mauve tones, then I think this will be a great option for you. Or if super shocking shimmers are not your thing, that would be great for you. Another thing that I do like to do to brighten is I'll take my e.l.f. No Budge eyeshadow. This is their cream eyeshadow. It's in the white shade. And what I'll do is I'll put that a little bit in my like inner third of the eye and then throw a shimmer on top of that. And it really, really helps give that pop that I'm looking for. Like, do you see how that, how much brighter that is when I just do that? And then what I'll do is I'll take one of those shimmers, the one that I was really liking was this charity shade. I'm gonna go back into that charity shade and put it right on top of that cream. Yeah, and then that gives me what I want. Yeah. So it needed a little bit of help. I'm okay with that. I can also take that cream and brighten the inner corner with it as well. I'm going to take another pointed brush. This one is the number 11. And I'm just going to do this. Love it. If you are looking tired, need a brightening, I highly recommend this one. I think the cream bronzers from Makeup Revolution are beautiful. The candy paint cream blush is gorgeous. I like the shade. The primer, I'll have to let you know. The foundation, so far so good. My skin is looking quite luminous. So we'll see what my T-zone looks like in a couple of hours. <laughs> so make sure you're subscribed if you're not subscribed already. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you in my next one. Have a great day.